Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is AJ and welcome to another LSPDFR episode and we're here tonight with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office from Idaho. Um, now you would have never thought that there's actually a Blaine County in Idaho, but there is. Um, so we're going to be out here with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office from Idaho. Uh, first things first, we are going to be using Kilroy 95's Blaine County Sheriff's Office um, Idaho textures uh, that he has released on LSPDFR.com. Uh, they will be linked in the description below. Uh, the model Tahoe that I'm using is by The Great Ha. Um, I believe it's his 2017 PPV Tahoe, I believe. Or Tahoe PV PPV, sorry about that. Um, beautiful looking car. Go ahead and turn on the lights in just a moment. I should do that right now. And let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy right here. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Um, this car has been released for a while now, this model. But um, I believe it kind of fits best with this... Uh, the skin um, and the pet that we're going to be using is by Poochie 999 so I hope you guys do enjoy this episode if you do please remember to hit that like button um, I'll be doing a lot of patrols over the next few days um, some surprise kind of patrols uh, so I hope you enjoy what's uh, in store for this weekend and uh, yeah let's get into this episode um, it is about Five in the morning here over in Blaine County uh, no pun intended but there is, uh, it is actually five o'clock in Blaine County so we'll go ahead and patrol around here um, I'll be around the grapeseed area uh, closer to the highway actually probably gonna do a little bit of um, highway enforcement um, now I've never seen this in real life so it's kind of cool to see Blaine County Idaho and uh, we do have the Idaho State Police with us in the game uh, just let me know if you guys like to see an Idaho State Police episode, and I will try to do that for you guys. And uh, aside from that, we'll be, we'll be good from here. I don't know what this person's doing. Whoa, okay. Yeah, all right, that was a little bit weird. Let's quickly make a Yui. See what's going on. Whoa, and he just cut that guy off. I would like to apologize for the lack of videos recently. Um, my GTA 5 was not working due to an XML error. Don't even know what that is. Well, it's part of the ELS. I'm just catch up to this guy right now. Wow, I'm going around 90 miles per hour just to catch up to this guy. Alright, 764 traffic. You can show me out on South US Route 13 with a gray. Um, hatchback uh, appears to be occupied one time. License plate is going to be Idaho 67 David Lincoln Charles 684. Uh, no additionals at this time. All right, go ahead and have him, have him or her pull over right over here. It's good. Good enough. All right, we'll go ahead and have our spotlight out. There we go. It's a lot of radio traffic going on there. All right, looks like we don't have any takedowns on this Tahoe, which seems to be believable enough. Go and just quickly run the plate on our uh, computer and see what the vehicle comes back to. It's an ingot, and the driver or the registered owner of the vehicle has an expired license. Everything else with the vehicle seems to be pretty good, insurance and everything. So we should be good to go. All right. Right. Since we're on the highway, it's kind of safer to approach this way, I would think. Yeah. Hi there, good morning sir, how's it going? My name is Deputy Diaz here at the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is because um, you were kind of, I mean, I don't know what was going on. You just weren't paying attention whilst you were driving. I mean, you almost just cut a vehicle off and almost had a motor vehicle collision. And um, yeah, there was just plenty of some weird traffic incidents that you kind of did back there. Um, Let's see, what would that be under? Uh, I don't want to say reckless driving. Yeah, I'll put failure to yield for that vehicle. That was definitely for sure. Yeah, you kind of had to yield. I mean, you were making a turn and that guy was just going straight on the highway. You almost just had a motor vehicle collision. He could have been going very fast and you guys would have been col colliding already. Could I see your license, registration, proof of insurance? You got ID? All right, thank you. And your license seems to be expired. 
Have you been paying attention to the expiration date on your card? Let's go ahead and see. Uh, or actually, we can ask them through this menu here. Sorry, I was playing a little bit of LCPDA4, so I'm trying to get used to the LSPDA4 one as well. No, man, you gotta you gotta renew it if there's an expiration date on it. If the expiration date is reached, then you gotta make sure you renew it, all right, at the DMV. You hang tight for me, I'll go ahead and uh, run your ID. Is there anything, uh, have you been having anything to drink today by any chance? No? All right, and nothing illegal in the car? All right, cool, you hang tight for me. My game seems to be lagging a little bit due to the trees. I might be taking those out, but if you guys enjoy having them in there, which most of you seem to uh, be enjoying those, then I'll keep them in. But they do cause a bit of game issues, which I don't know why. I don't know why they are. We'll go ahead and run his ID and everything like that, and he'll be on his way. Uh, license has been expired for pr a pretty long time. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and quickly write him up a citation. I know I said he was going to be on his way, but I meant with the citation, unfortunately. Uh, sedan, obviously. Documentation. I am going to... I mean, he's been stopped how many times? One time? Was it for this? No, that's a parking ticket. So he's obviously been stopped before, but it doesn't say when. So uh, I'm going to write him up for the driver's license. It's a little bit too long to have that. I mean, it's almost uh, two-thirds of a year. Or no, a little bit more than that, three-quarters of a year, to be honest. There we go. And we'll go ahead and do um, a failure to yield citation. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right there. Or violation of right away. There we go. That's what it is. Violation of right away. All right, cool. Violation of right away basically means what I just described. Uh, described. Which basically means that you're uh, cutting a vehicle off when they have all right away to be continuing. So basically, causing some, um, you're basically uh, doing some dangerous driving there. Alright, Mr. Baker, I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, you are being issued two citations today. One of them is going to be for violation of right-of-way, and the other one's going to be for having an expired license, alright? Um, you don't have to sign any, you don't have to sign these. Um, these are, uh, you know, these new citations, you actually don't have to sign them uh, since 2018. So here you go, alright? Um, just make sure you pay attention to the court date, which is on the very top of the citation. Um, if you have any questions, or sorry, it's on the it's on the citation or your court date. Uh, if you have any questions, you can dial the number on the top of the citation. We'd be happy to answer anything for you. Um, there's section A and section B. Uh, section A is to plead guilty. Section B is to plead not guilty. Make sure you sign one of those. Uh, if you'd like to fight your justice in court, you can do that. Uh, just to let you know though, I do have a dash cam in my vehicle, so anything you've done thus far, if you'd like to fight your justice in court, that dash cam can be used against you. Alright? For uh, justice. And otherwise, just try to take your court date, alright? Any questions? No? Alright, you can take off as soon as I get back in my car. Drive safely, sir. Cool. Sorry about that. I, I derped for a couple of minutes because, um,. I suddenly said there, there was a court date on the top of the citation. I meant the number for the sheriff's office is on the top of the citation. Alright, if he can exit safely, that'd be good. Whoa, he's got to exit safely. Alright, cool. We'll be good to go. Just waiting for the radio traffic to clear up. 764. Uh, you can go ahead and show me 10 8 and go for off that traffic stop citation issue. Two citations issued, correction. Go ahead and uh, take the. Take the uh, most right lane over here. Or the off ramp. Head back into Sandy Shores. Actually, no, here's what we might do. We might go back here and go back onto the highway. That way we can hit Grapeseed. I honestly do not want to hit uh, US Route 68 or. Um, Sonora Way, or whatever that is, or Joshua Road, sorry about that. My game seems to be lagging a whole bunch over there. I don't know why it is, I think it's a trees mod. So, who knows. Yeah, right. I, I do like this car, though. This Tahoe is beautiful. I love it. Any people, anyone from Idaho? Shoutouts to you. Oh my 
my god. Alright then. That was a little bit unsafe of that deputy, but good lord. This guy's gotta stop at least. Whatever he's doing is a hit and run actually. That guy who just hit my cruiser. 764B advised. I was just involved in a uh, motor vehicle collision on the US Route 13. Uh, a little bit before hitting Union Road on the northbound lanes with a black and colored Patriot. Uh, license plate's gonna be Idaho 68 King Romeo Lincoln 639 occupied to be times one. I'll be on a traffic stop with him out before the second exit of Union on the US Route 13 northbound lanes. Um, if you could go ahead and send me a supervisor and uh, have fire medics on standby. Alright, hopefully he's not injured. There we go. I'm gonna try to see if we can get a supervisor out here. Assistance required on Sonora Freeway, east of uh, the O'Neill Farm and Santiago Steam Mountain Range. Oh my god, oh, okay then. Goodness, people gotta learn how to drive in this game, man. Hey, how's it going, Sarge? Nah, some unit just pulled out of that area before uh, the first exit for Union. And my vehicle got hit by this Hummer. Hi. Yeah, he didn't even slow down or anything, and then he just kept running off. Oh, okay. Alright, go, 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 go. I got him, I got him. Alright, that's not nice. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Alright. 764, brake, brake, be advised. Um. Our vehicle's gonna be taking off, and he's heading on the northbound lanes of US Route 13. We're in pursuit at this time. Same plate, same vehicle description. Uh, if you could go ahead and have an additional unit out for us. Um, actually, you can send the state highway patrol. Backup required on Sonora Freeway. Oh my goodness, not the bikes. Need to get rid of my spotlight. There we go. Cool. We have an Why he has a California Highway Patrol siren and is somewhat the California Highway Patrol? I don't know, but there's the real Highway Patrol right there. Ooh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're the state. You're the state. Go. You're the real state. Go. Come on. Go. 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 State always takes primary. Well, actually, in real life, I wouldn't wait for him. Sorry, that was that was a mistake on my part. I just keep just keep remembering that how I patrol always goes first. All right, you know what? Just, if he wants to come ahead of us, he can. I'm just gonna make sure I get ahead to catch up to this guy at least. Goodness, what are you doing? Oh my god. Alright then. <laughs> and I tell you, you cannot fix stupid in this game. Alright. 764, can you patch me in the supervisor for a bit? We got this guy going crazy on the highway here. 10 4. We're gonna have, um. We're gonna have, uh medium levels of traffic. Uh, just turn on the Procopio in a Polito right now. Um, it's going to be on a black Hummer license plate. Uh, 68 King Romeo Lincoln 639. And uh, the weather conditions are clear. Permission to pit. Alright, cool. So they gave us access to pit. We'll go ahead and initiate a pit right now. Ooh, we, we got... An individual heading, probably heading to work. Who knows? Here we go. Here would be a good time. Here would be a good time. Oh. 764B by his pit executed and was failed. Requesting for uh, permission again. We're going to be on Procopio Drive, actually heading on the Polito Boulevard, uh, going uh, southbound. Or pressure. We're going to be heading into the fire station right now, and I think we might have a good day. Oh my goodness! Come on, man. 
Good lord. <laughs> Alright, 764 Bevis. He just. Um, I'm gonna have him right now. We're on Polito Boulevard. Uh, heading towards the US Route 1. Going southbound. We're in the Polito Forest right now. Permission to pit. Traffic conditions are clear. We're asking our supervisor that. 10-4. Ooh, he would slow down. Very smart. Very smart. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good lord. That was unsuccessful. 764 be advised, pit was unsuccessful. Uh, I believe we lost our other units. If we could get me a couple additional units um, on the Great Ocean Highway. We're heading westbound right now uh, in the Plato Forest. Assistance needed on Great Ocean Highway. Don't want to head up too close to the vehicle. Oh my god, of course the default cars would spawn. I think I was fixing my GTA and I have these default cars spawning in. So I do apologize a little bit. Do I have permission to pit? We're heading onto the bridge uh, towards the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Uh, traffic conditions are um, at a medium level right now. And, uh, he's, yeah, we're just about to head onto that bridge. Right, Alright, Alright, pit him in, pit him in, pit him in, pit him in. Pit him in, pit him in, pit him in, pit him in. Pit him in. 764, he just hit the back of my cruiser when trying to pin him in. We got him for aggravated assault. Movie city unit. Damn, let me do my job. I'm trying to impress people. <laughs> pin him in, pin him in, pin him in, pin him in. Get out of the... Get out of the car! Hands where I can see him, man! Hands where I can see him! On the ground! On the ground! Get on the ground! On the ground now! Get on the ground! Where's my Glock? Dude, stop! Stop! Alright, 764 be advised. Taser deployed. Don't charge at me like that, dude! Get on the ground! I think something happened to my weapons. I think I lost... I think I lost my Taser and everything. In, 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 my, uh, in my process of fixing LSPDFR. Or GTA 5. I'll make sure I'll have something better for the next episode, I promise you. <laughs> oh, great. Alright, 764 b buys. you can go ahead and clear us on the 80. We're gonna have uh, one in custody at this time. Okay, then. Yep. That, um, it's all SPD far for you guys. What'd you just call me? Alright. Alright, dude, what's your name? All right, so I want to let you know right now, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do, can and won't be against in the court of law. You do have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the courts at no cost. At any point in time, you can decide to exercise these rights. Do you understand that? Okay, and I didn't, and um, with those rights in mind, do you wish to answer any questions? All right. Uh, do you have anything illegal on you? You have something on you? Okay. All right. Just gonna pat you down. Make sure you make sure uh, we can get that out of you. And then we're gonna put you in the back of my cruiser, alright? What's the reason for running today? Why'd you run from the police? A good thing this ballistic knife wasn't uh, an open. Uh, good thing you didn't put this ballistic knife in the open. Kinda kept it concealed. You're not supposed to have these outside. Alright, um. Yeah, what were you doing back there? Oh, okay. Alright, you wanna play smart? Well, I'm just gonna let you know, you, you're being charged for hit and run, too. You hit my car, didn't even stop, and then you ran from the police. Things would've been a whole lot easier. I know that deputy came out pretty short from his speed radar, or whatever he was doing there. But, uh... Since you hit my vehicle, you gotta slow down and step to the... You gotta slow down and go to the side. Alright? Can't have you running like that from the police. Now you got yourself in a whole lot of trouble. You hang tight. 
All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get traffic kind of moving here, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my vehicle. So that way a person like this smart individual can go ahead and pass us. Look at that, very smart. Maybe, there we go, good. Come on, move it along, go. No, okay. Oh, good lord, oh my goodness. A lot can happen when you reinstall GTA 5. Hey. Eh? Yeah, I do apologize for not having my weapons or having the stock vehicles. I, I didn't realize I had the stock vehicles in game. I thought I replaced those with something else. But uh, no big deal. No big deal. I don't know why I can't search the car. It won't let me search it. Oh, open beer can, Bud Light six pack, Viagra, cough syrup. All right, so. My colleague, before we even got onto this traffic stop, my colleague could smell a, a strong odor of alcohol coming from the vehicle. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run a, a Alka sensor test on him and see what he's got going on. He's also got an open six pack of, or uh, he's got a six pack of Bud Light 764. Can we go ahead and get a, a 1051 for the vehicle? All right, and since it's heavy damage, we'll go ahead and get a. Uh, a flatbed for it. Assistance required on Great Ocean Highway and Go ahead and just uh, move the vehicle a little bit to the side for the meanwhile. Alright. Probably park it on the median here. Good idea. There we go. My vehicle might not be in service after this uh, this scenario here. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get an uh, Alka sensor uh, for the back of our vehicle. Alka sensor is basically like um, a breathalyzer of some sort other terms. Alright man, could you step out for me? Alright, uh, here's what we're gonna do, okay? I, before you took off on us, when I had you on that traffic stop right there, right? On the US Route 13, right? Before you took off on us, my colleague who was on that traffic stop, which is my supervisor, he smelled an odor of alcohol coming from the passenger side of the vehicle. It's kind of funny, I did find a open uh, beer can in the driver's side pocket, um, on the door pocket, and um, you had a op uh, you had a six pack of Bud Light. So, have you had anything to drink tonight or today? No money, no drugs. I wasn't asking you for money. I was asking you if you had anything to drink. Oh, you had a couple of sips. All right, well, a couple of sips might have sounds right to me. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a quick breathalyzer test, make sure you're not under the influence of that alcohol. All right, I just want to make sure you're not intoxicated with alcohol or anything like that, okay? So if you would, just go ahead and breathe into the end of this tube, and you'll hear the beeper go off, but I'll, I can let you know when you when you can stop. All right, you can stop now. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, he's right on spot. Look at that, guys. Pretty accurate. It's like hitting some darts. Good job. You hit the target. 0.100%. He's going with the DUI charge. Uh, we didn't find anything else in the vehicle, no narcotics or anything, so it's not like we need to uh, drug -alyze him in any sort. No drug testing, or no drug chemical testing for him. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write our... Uh, we're going to go ahead and run his ID and everything, and then we'll go from there and see what happens. This guy, uh, pretty, pretty cool guy, eh? God, I love what he did. I should have ran the plate. When I had the chance. I thought I did run the plate, actually. I thought I did. I don't know. Oh, he's been charged with aggravated DWI before. And he's got a jaywalk. What? He's been charged for jaywalking? Alright, then. Um, <laughs> I, I would have thought that's a citation, but, uh... Maybe it was on the highway or something. I mean, it's a little dangerous, because it's, it's almost... I mean, it, it, uh, whatever. It is pretty dangerous. All right, let's see. So he's going away tonight. Unlawful fleeing a police officer in a motor vehicle. In the third degree. Or the first degree, sorry. Uh, assault on a public official. Leaving the scene of an accident. Possession of an al open alcohol container. Driving while intoxicated and reckless driving. Look at that. All right. Okay, sir. I'm going to let you know right now. At this time, you are currently being placed on arrest today. And charged. With uh, unlawful fleeing a police officer in a motor vehicle in the first degree, uh, reckless driving, uh, driving while intoxicated, assault on a public official because you hit the rear of my vehicle when I was in while I was in front of you earlier, 
um, felony hit and run, or known as leaving the scene of an accident. Um, what's the sixth one? Oh yeah, oh, uh, possession of an open alcohol container, alright? Do you understand that? Okay, any questions? No? Alright, if you have no questions, then we're gonna go ahead and get you a prisoner transport. You wanna explain anything that you did to me today from, from there on? There on out? You wanna tell me why you did all that? You feel woozy? We'll get you down to the station. Get you to detox and everything. Alright, 764B advised. I'm gonna have 11015 in custody. If I can go ahead and get a uh, prisoner transport to my location. And one for pickup. We'll be go for him. And once again, I am sorry for having the default cars in my game. There we go. At least we didn't get a default car. That's good. I thought we were going to end up all the way in Los Santos County. We ended up staying all Hello. the way. We ended up staying just a little bit close and short to Blaine County. That's great. If we had passed that military base, we'd be in Los Santos County. Fucker. Oh, okay then. Jay and that is a quote that can always be remembered. Jay Grimity. In the car you go, man. Watch your head. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Deputy. I hope many of you did enjoy this episode. If you did, remember to hit that like button. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything like that, please suggest them in the comment section below. Uh, also, join my Discord. We do have a suggestions box. Um, I'm taking a bunch of suggestions that many of you have been uh, giving me and putting them sometimes in polls um, because they are pretty good departments that many of you are suggesting like uh, we had that um, many of you went to see Detroit after I did you know Michigan Police Department well, there you go you got Detroit even though I put it in a poll you guys still wanted Detroit you know what I mean so um, yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, have a wonderful one see you guys tomorrow peace